Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm going to be doing some video tutorials based on Ning, and this tutorial is going to be featured on Ning, Ning's creator's website, hopefully, and I want to better explain how to create, or help show you guys how to um, create layouts and apply them to your Ning groups. So, not only can you apply it to your profile and your main site of your Ning page, your website, but you can apply it to your group as well. So... There's a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need first a notepad or some type of um, word editing uh, software, and um, you're gonna need a few codes from Gen Social. We're gonna use. So this code is not for me. This is actually from somebody on Gen Social that has posted this great tutorial on how to create um, or use different CSS layouts in your groups. All right. And uh, so to go there, I'll put the link in the video description on YouTube and as a link on ningcreators.com. Um, so you want to first go to Gen Social. So that's where, you know, I'm getting this video tutorial from, so this is not by me. And I just want to go through some of the groups that I have on my website and show you exactly how I have it set up. So as you can see, I have my um, main image at the top, the header or the banner, and then the background image. And same for the other group I have for tutorials in my group, I mean on my website. Uh, really cool, you could definitely make your group stand out more instead of the plain old regular background that you may have already. And it's pretty cool, as you can see it is a group. You see start featuring group, manage group, delete group. So you know this is a group um, area. And so I'm going to show you how to do it. First, you want to make sure that you go if you are if you are a network creator, make sure you go to the manage area on your site, and then you're going to see dashboard. If you don't see dashboard, make sure you select the shortcuts, and you should see this this um, old um, version of Ning's dashboard. And go to appearances. After you go to appearances, you want to make sure you select the advanced area and then copy down all of the CSS code within it. This this steps helps you um, create your layout. So if you don't have an already a CSS code, you want to make sure you um, you can also visit my website if you want a basic CSS code for your website. Um, it's mikesdesigns.ning.com and you can go over to groups, go to form and go to groups and then you should see community Ning layouts and I have a basic Ning CSS code that you guys can use to edit it with it. Um, I'll also post a link in the video description to that if you guys you know just want to copy that down. So anyway if you do have a CSS code that's easier for you to work off of just go to your manage area events and go to your appearances um, copy down the CSS code Control A to copy. I mean, Control A to select all. Control C to copy. And then you want to go into your notepad and then paste all of that in there. All right, cool. So once you have that, you're pretty much set up right now. Um, but before you do anything, you want to make sure that you select whatever background you want. If you don't know how to create your own background, um, I have a few video tutorials on YouTube. You guys can check out. I'll put the link in the video description. Um, so if you are on, on Ning and you want to host your own files on Ning, go to like maybe your comment wall or something or your blog or something and select the upload image area. Then select the file you want and then navigate to whatever picture or layout that you know where your pictures are. And I'm just going to go quickly scroll up. And I happen to have my tutorial layout. I'm gonna press add. And I'm gonna zoom in for you guys right here because this is important. I need you guys to understand how to get the direct URL to your layout. So you wanna copy this right here. You wanna go where it's right inside the quotes and right before the question mark. I'll zoom in right here. And this is what you need. So, control C to copy. I'm going to go into your notepad. And in my case, in my CSS, I have a background where that requires a URL for me to paste in a um, a URL to my uh, background. All right. So, it kind of 
kind of messed up here, so I'm gonna copy it. Go in here. Select my background copy. Paste it in there. And for my network header, my uh, master header, I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna upload an image. And in this case, I'm gonna upload my tutorials banner. And wait for the image to upload. Then within that quotation and right before the question mark, I'm gonna copy that URL. Go to where it says master header, and right in the parentheses, you want to just paste that in there. And after you're done, you want to go Control Shift S to save or save as or file save as, and then you want to name it. Uh, I'm gonna call it example for right now. And then you want to put dot CSS. This is very important. Alright, so I already have a uh, location where I know where I'm going to save it at. You'll save it on your desktop for easier convenience. Press save. And then next what you want to do is head over to the link at gensocial.com. And you want to copy this link at the bottom. This with this uh, arrows right here. And I'm going to zoom in for you guys right here. So this is what you need to copy. And copy that. And then you want to go back into your site. Ning site and I'm gonna go select a group that that doesn't have a CSS layout applied to it yet and I'm just gonna select where it says Ning customization because that's one of my groups I have and um, as you can see it's just my regular Ning background that I have my Ning header and the Ning background that I have created and I'm gonna apply a new background to it but first you want to make sure in your, your group you want to select the text box that's available and paste in that code I told you to copy this is very important right here alright so next what we're gonna do is go scroll down but well, not even within this text box I'm gonna make a few spaces down I'm gonna select the upload file icon I'm gonna upload a file and I'm gonna select the CSS code that we've created um, you want to make sure it's CSS because if it's a dot text document then it's not gonna work at all alright so here's the example that CSS I'm gonna press add and then like I did before I'm gonna copy within the um, quotation and right before right inside the quotation and copy the CSS and then from there you could just remove that uploaded file stuff now this is very important as well right in between here where it says title.css you want to replace that with the um, URL that we created I mean that we just copied and there you go and press save And as you can see, my Ning group has just changed into tutorials with my tutorials banner and background. And there you go. I hope this was simple for you guys to understand. If you need any help, just please leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. Um, this is me, Mike, from Mike'sDesignStyleNing.com, providing all these tutorials for you guys to customize your Ning networks. Um, like I said, please leave a comment and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.